Growing up, a mission was always something that was kind of in the back of my mind, but I never really took it seriously. I was just, I was one of those going through the motions kind of members, you know, church on Sunday, do the right thing, but my heart really, really wasn't in it. And I remember distinctly, I went to a mission prep class once again, not because I wanted to, but because, you know, it was the right thing to do. But I remember going to this mission prep class and just really feeling the spirit and and recognizing that it was it was something that I was really supposed to do. So I went home and I prayed that night and I just had this overwhelming feeling that a mission was right for me. And I didn't look back after that. And uh, I got prepared and, and I got ready and I, I went to the MTC. And to be honest, I think the spirit that you feel at the MTC is, is really second to what you feel at the church. Or I'm not <laughs> at the temple well, and, and also at church. But uh, just a really strong, powerful spirit. You're there with other... Uh, elders and sisters who are who are also preparing to go on missions and one of the one of the very true statements that uh, was told to me in the MTC by the MTC president was it doesn't matter why why you go or or, or, or what made you go but what is what's important is that you're there and so I promise you that by, by taking that leap of faith and by you know choosing to serve a mission that your, your lives are going to be blessed immensely um, I wasn't a really good student before my mission. I got B's and C's in high school. I didn't really have a future. I didn't really have a whole lot of plans going on for me. Um, and so outside of the spiritual blessings that come with going on a mission, there's also a lot of temporal and physical blessings. I learned how to study on my mission and that helped me get into BYU and, and helped me get you know set myself on for a good career. Um, I learned charity and love, and those are some of the spiritual blessings that, that uh, come with serving a mission. Um, there are so many great people out there that are just fun to be around. I mean, you can go out there and proselyte and teach and feel the spirit, and, and that's fantastic. And when you do that with other people, you just you come to love them. And I made a lot of friends on my mission. It was it was a blast, not only with my companions, but with the people that I taught and the people that I served with. Uh, the Auburn Hills Ward in Wichita. That's my ward. Uh, I love that place. I served there for almost eight months. Um, serving a mission was the best thing I could have done with my life. Um, if I hadn't served a mission, I wouldn't have met my wife. She was uh, there at the airport waiting for me when I got off the plane, and I didn't know who she was beforehand, so the Lord blessed me with an eternal companion as well. Um, I won't, do not regret for one second serving a mission. I learned a lot about myself, which was really important. I, I converted myself to the gospel. If, if nothing else, I know that I'm converted. And hopefully I helped a lot of people along the way, people whose lives I saw change completely. And they were so much happier. And, and it's, it's amazing how little we actually do as missionaries. You know, we go over once or twice a week and we teach, and, and the Spirit's really what comes into their lives and changes them for the better. And I promise you that as you work to be an emissary of the Lord and bring that spirit, not only is your life going to change, but the lives of those around you are going to change, and we're all going to be better because of it. And the blessings that you receive from serving a mission are going to go well beyond the two years that you serve. I'm still blessed today from all of what I do. And I know that this church is true, and you know when you go out and you preach the gospel, you're preaching the true gospel of Jesus Christ. And we're all going to be able to come together one day and, and rejoice in, in the friendships that we made and the experiences that we had. So, say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.